Welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the Ouya. We're on Korriban, and we have to learn, oh, what is it, the, the Sith Code. Oh, I have a Dark Jedi Knight robe. I'm going to keep what I have on. And we are still looking for, oh, there she is. We, we're going to have to talk to her in a second about this code. We're still looking for Dustal, Karth's son. Haven't seen him yet, but he's oh, in this academy somewhere, and we have to be better. We have to be better than the other Sith students, or Absolutely. prospects. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Good. Absolutely. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said... You're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords, to the tomb of Nagasado, to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. Uh, what's the big deal about the tomb is Naga an ancient Sato's ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting, isn't it, Master? Reaching that map as they did is part of the final <laughs> test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Okay, so she wants me to help her kill Uthar, and so she can take over the academy. How do I know this isn't you some test? You must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't let me stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. That's a good point. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't help her, because if we don't, she's going to be angry and maybe even pick somebody else. Although, not that I really care. And I could tell him, but why would I say that to her? And, yeah, obviously she wants me to kill him. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and agree. I don't know if we'll get some dark side points for this, but so glad you know, we're on Korriban. We have to do what we have to, to do to survive. Final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. Okay, I need to get more prestige, but I also need her to tell me about the Code of the Sith, and I think that's the I first think you understand it. thing I Would need to, like to ask her about. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Yes. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? That's that's quick. That was kind of quick. Okay, the whole thing is right here. Peace is a lie. There's only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. Hmm. This is interesting. This is one of the things I really... I, I said this last episode. I, I really... This makes the... the the dark side so enticing because it doesn't necessarily seem evil it seems in a way the jedi would have logical. you believe that peace is a desirable goal that peace of the spirit is the way the force is mastered that a lack of conflict betters man we know different it is our passion our hate and our desire that fuels the force it is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. I mean, it's, it's hard to argue the with that. The stronger you become in the Force, the more power you will achieve. But always must you fight for your power. Without strife, your victory has no meaning. Without strife, you do not advance. Without strife, there is only stagnation. 
They really don't like stagnation. Uh, okay, peace is a lie. There's only passion through passion. I gain strength through strength. I gain... No. Through, I'm, I'm closing my eyes it's trying to memorize it because I know I'm going to have to peaceful victory. to say it later. Victory by sacrifice, a truce, an achievement. Unless the victory is achieved by demonstrating that your power is superior, it is only an illusion, temporary at best. We seek more. You know, I wonder if I had brought Joe Lee, if he would have anything to say about this. Alright, through strength I gain power. Peace is a lie, there's only passion through passion. There's strength, power, victory, victory, chains broken, force sets me free. Um, this has been argued over. Yeah, I did that one. Let's do this the one. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection, their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal at any rate. It is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us, but perhaps that is just a legend. You don't think I the Sithari what can exist? Be like. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. But perhaps that is just a legend. Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. Hmm. Alright. Oh no, no, these are out of order now. Peace, there's a passion. Passion, strength, strength, power, power, victory. Uh, victory the chains broken and force shall and free me. Master, our teacher and our companion. A weapon and a tool. Know it and you know the universe. Master it and you master the universe. Strive for perfection and the force shall reward you. I am not surprised. Alright, I think the I got it. The force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. All right, how do I get you must more Master Uthar. prestige? Go to him with news of your deeds or artifacts you have discovered. The code of the Sith is the easiest way to start. I have told you all that you need to know of it already. There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban. No doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where, exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's order, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? I would suggest uh, you talk yes, to the other please. prospective Sith and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasho would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. Okay, so tell me the about these ruins. The last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Well, why so we interested in some of the ruins? Why they were on Korriban and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. With that knowledge could come great power. And, uh, what Not about the Nagasato tomb? Uthar, no, it is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. As you wish. Okay. Uh, about myself. 
I'm Tell me about yourself. Leheron, if you must know. I was and then we'll get out of here. Cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. You have had an excellent start. All right, let's go. So talk to the other students, look around for stuff, and what's this? Uthar, Uthar's room. Is there anybody around? Oh, I need to level up uh, my guys. I didn't even see that. All right, awareness up. Feats. I mean, we're at a place where we're in pretty good shape. I want to give him... You know what? If I give him the third level of this, I can give him an implant. Karth. Yeah, we'll do awareness. Why not? Uh, hmm. I don't know what to go for. Maybe an implant? I have no idea. Maybe, I mean, he's not going to use melee weapons. Let's go for an implant. All right, and let's see what we can give these guys. Okay, he can get... Oh, I do like that. And immunity to critical hits for level 2. Immunity to poison, constitution plus four, he'll have a million hit points, plus he regenerates, I mean, well, that'll give him one more hit point per level. I mean, that's pretty good. Immunity to poison, I don't know if we're even going to have any poison. I don't think there is. I, I think we're going to go with the constitution, and we'll give Karth, oh, they're level two. You know what? Let's go back to uh, the mind affecting. Ready? What? I guess I sold. I guess I no sold problem. all that off. Okay, let's uh, break in. Let's see what's in here. Piece of cake. Foot locker. He's got to have something. What is this? Uh, no yeah, problem. let's, uh, Got let's it. steal his stuff. Why not? What does he have? Sith mask. Jedi master robe. 450... We're, we're taking it all. I mean, you know, he should be proud of us for taking this stuff. Oh, a data pad. I mean, it's very Sith-like to steal a bunch of things. I have to see what this data pad's about. Probably could leave his room before we read it, but I don't think he's... I think he's in the main room still. Where is... I, sh I should have gone down. Okay. Data pad. Which one? Okay, this data pad appears to contain numerous entries of the notes made by Master Uthar of the Sith Academy. Most prominent of the recent entries is the following. The pupil known as Dustal has shown remarkable progress. His talent and force is great. The same cannot, however, cannot be... Said for the human female that he arrived with, Celine. She has little talent. Moreover, Dustal... Dustal! Dustal! The Dustal we're looking for. Dustal holds a great degree, degree of affection for her. This is a weakness in the boy, and has been slowing down his training. Orders were sent this morning to have the girl removed from the academy and terminated. I will tell Dustal that she was killed in the valley. He will forget her soon enough, I think. He is too promising to lose at this juncture. Okay, so if we ever find Dustal... We can show him that and convince him that Sith... Because I think we had to say that the Sith were evil. Oh, look at all these guys. Sith guard. We don't really need to talk to him. Oh, uh, uh, What's hello. this guy about? I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alguin. I... Oh, He's uh, too nice. Nothing? Uh, yes. My master always sure? says I'm too trusting. Too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't... You know... Oh, I know that. Uh, I mean, but I'm not saying yet. But you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. Well, I, 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 I didn't mean and like you're not? that. I, I shouldn't <laughs> trust you. This guy. I can't trust you. Can I? I just 
don't feel I belong Of here. course you can. I thought maybe I did at first, but now, I don't know. I just have so many doubts. Hmm, yeah, this guy's definitely not going to make it. If it doesn't feel right, then perhaps you don't belong here. But where would I go then? What would I do? Yeah. Have you thought about the Jedi? I really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah, he. There was no way that guy was gonna make it. I just poached from the Sith. I can't believe it. Oh, whose stuff is this? No problem. It's it's Sith. They're evil. Got we it. can steal everything. It's not a big deal. It's really, it's expected. Oh, heavy repeating blaster. I think what, uh, what Candorus has is good enough. Oh, and, uh, this guy's not gonna need his... Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, well. Alright, that was easy. If I can just send the rest of the guys away, it'll be awesome. Let's go... Oh, there's Lash out. I don't know if I should help her or not. What about this one? Trying for the academy. That's true. I had so no idea you. you were coming for the academy when I met you in the colony, though. The name's Shardan. Didn't Who I tell you? you that back in the colony? Maybe not. Hmm. Challenge him to a duel. I will destroy that guy. You and me uh, both. I don't really. We're going to have to get no. him. Yeah. Maybe lash out. Uh, you know what? I think this is a good stopping point. I, I need to talk to the rest of these guys and then maybe go out into the Valley of the Sith Lords and see about digging up some stuff. I really want to just break into everything and see what's around. I, I don't think I want to lean on anybody else uh, to get going. So, anyways, I think we're going to continue next time. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we'll try to find Dustal and get him out of here. Like we did with that other guy. Anyways, take care.